Farm Droid is a automatic seeder and weeder that was originally designed in Denmark. We have been importing it into Canada. It is virtually the first automated seeder and weeder in the world. The unit runs on solar panels, uh, completely off of solar panels, two lithium ion batteries, four 400 watt solar panels, runs off RTK GPS, not using cameras in any way, shape or form, only through RTK GPS. So you get sub inch accuracy uh, with the machine with precision seeders. So we can control exactly how many seeds are dropping in every spot. When this unit seeds and we flip to weeding mode, it knows within eight millimeters of where that seed is. So it's using that setting to basically protect the seed. Anything else to it is a weed. So instead of using cameras to try and figure out what plant is what, it actually uses RTK GPS to weed everything. So the unit is designed with uh, what we call a wire weeder. This is what's doing all the weeding for us. It, it literally sits about a half centimeters underneath the ground, flipping the little weeds. The farm droid is, is capable of planting over 50 different crops. Basically anything with an eight millimeter seed or smaller, it can plant. So if it can seed it, it can weed it. It really shines in the high value crops. When we're talking about beets, um, carrots, onions, those kind of crops, it's amazing what this thing can do. So it, it has a lot of benefits in a lot of different ways, especially when you have a shortage of laborers. Like that's really where you're really seeing these things is, is people that can't get people to come out and work and do the manual labor in their field. It always shows up every day, works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The farm droid limitations are anything larger than an eight degree slope and heavy rains. It does have a rain sensor on it, so we can preset that as to how much rain before it actually shuts down. Basically, the farm droid needs a good clean seed bed to get started, so we don't want a lot of stones, we don't want a lot of debris in the field. What we want is just a nice clean bed to, to work on. It has worked in loamy soils all the way up to a clay soil. Um, and we haven't had a lot of issues with the, either one of them. We do have weights that can go onto the toolbar itself. So if you are into a, a harder clay soil, we can put the weights on it so it keeps the weeders right into the ground. Uh, we're using some AI robotic weeding on our farms now as labor is getting a little bit more tight and a little bit harder to find. Um, pretty excited about the pathways and the new technology that's coming onto the market every year. It seems like we're progressing significantly. As all new technologies, as uh, they become more available in the market, the price point's gonna come down. But when you start balancing out the cost of labor and uh, the cost of just being able to precision seed, uh, all those things start to stack up and I think it's gonna be very valuable in certain applications on farms. Being able to really maximize your crop in the field uh, with seed placement and mapping, um, and then also just being autonomous. You don't have to worry about having that labor go out there and double check, and it's uh, pretty much a set and forget, as long as there's no other barricades or things that I can bump into. Um, but I think as this technology continues to develop, I think it's gonna have lots of applications. Yeah, the farm droid does have certain limitations. Uh, if the weeds are getting too large or the crop is too large, um, but those things, if, if you're using the system properly, the automation is going to allow you to continue to weed and not get that buildup of weeds like you typically see on a farm. I think that it's really important as the labor force is becoming a lot harder, in, especially in produce, um, we need to focus it in particular areas like harvesting. And so wherever we can, we can move it into weeding or into seeding and be able to use these new technologies to really advance our farms and make them more profitable in the future.